welcome back to another edition of Meet the Crew. I have with me the fourth grade team today. So hello, fourth grade team. So good to see you. We're going to jump right in. They're going to get a chance to introduce themselves later on throughout the summer and at the beginning of the school year. But we're going to jump right into our questions. And we're going to start with a question that I've been starting with everybody, because I think it's very important for teachers to let you guys know where they came from. But we're going to start with who was your favorite teacher when you were growing up in school? And I'm going to start with Miss Jones. My favorite teacher was my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Monk, and she would just, she would tell us stories about her kids and just made school so much fun. Awesome. What about you, Mr. Moore? I would say my favorite teacher was my fifth grade science teacher. Her name was uh, Mrs. Miller, and she had a bunch of animals in her, um, in her uh, class. So as, you know, she was um, teaching, we got a little bit of a show uh, there. And then uh, on the uh, weekend, she would always let someone take one of the um, animals home. And I Whoa. remember always taking home the little hedgehogs. So that was pretty cool. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, what okay. about you, Miss Robertson? My favorite teacher um, is Mrs. Pittman. She was a high school teacher. She was my career and co-op teacher. And she did a lot of one-on-one -on -one individual um, building with students. And she was just always very encouraging to me and pushing me to be my best. That's so great. So as I've said multiple times, this is a great question because it kind of shows where we come from. And most likely we are in teaching professions because of someone that helped us along the way and, and that inspired us along the way. So shout out to all you teachers out there. So staying with the school theme today, uh, growing up, what was your favorite cafeteria meal? And if you didn't eat in the cafeteria, you were, you know, picky eater or just didn't do that. What was the favorite thing that you brought from home uh, when you were in school? And I'm going to go back to you, Ms. Robertson. Uh, my favorite meal was French fries, French yeah. fries and ketchup, French fries and cheese. <laughs> that was it. I could eat. <laughs> okay. What about you, Mr. Moore? Um, I like those little pizzas that had the three individual pepperonis on them. Like every time it had the exact same. <laughs> but um, also I remember that my grandmother used to bring me lunch every Friday. So so when I think about that, you know, I, yeah, I uh, have those memories too. So. Yeah, and you can't go wrong with grandmothers bringing you lunch. That's, that's a no great start. day. That's always a great day. Uh, Miss Jones, how about you? Um, my favorite was chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes. Awesome. We got a lot of mashed potato lovers in these, uh, in these meet the crew videos. That's pretty great. Okay. So I'm going to shift off of the school theme and this is, I, this is might be the most, um, different question I've asked any team so far, but if you had the choice to live forever in one of these two places, which would it be? So if you could live forever in an amusement park with roller coasters or a zoo, which would it be? And I'm going to start with you, Mr. Moore. I mean, that's a tough question because those are both pretty cool things. Uh, but I would say zoo just because uh, the animals would probably, you know, you'd probably uh, change it up a lot. You know, they might do different things. The, uh, the same rides might get, you know, kind of boring. So sure. I would say zoo. All right. I could, yeah, Miss Robertson, how about you? I would say the amusement park with roller coasters because I like the rides, plus there's more food. Okay. And Miss Jones, <laughs> how about you? Um, I would say zoo because roller coasters can scare me a little bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I am definitely a roller coaster person. Uh, I actually went to the zoo this week with my family, and I realized again why I do not like going to the zoo because it was so hot. So, but but the zoo is cool. I think if I were to choose, I would choose the roller park, the roller coaster park. Okay, last question. This is a random pick 'em, and I, this is kind of a quarantine edition, I think, because I think we're starting to realize that movies are different now uh me personally i love going to the movie theater but a lot of people are realizing that movies at home is pretty great and especially if you get the new release movies they are starting to release those on on-demand stuff so if you had the choice between watching movies at home or movies at theater which would you choose miss jones uh movies at theater you can't beat the popcorn there okay all right mr moore i like that studio uh uh, movie grill with the food there you know you can order so I'm gonna go theater okay Miss Robertson definitely theater same mm. I, I popcorn <laughs> okay that makes me feel better because a lot of my friends a lot of my family has said they really enjoyed getting to watch new movies at home during this quarantine I'm like no y'all are crazy I need the theater like I miss the theater that's one of the things I've missed the most during this time and I hope we get back to that soon but okay great so I'm glad we're all in agreement there Okay, so that's all I have for us today. Thank you, fourth grade team, for coming on Meet the Crew with us, but also thank you, watchers and listeners, for coming to meet the fourth grade team. They are 
I'm pretty sure they are so excited to meet you guys and we are all excited to come see you guys in the fall and get Arbor Creek going. Don't forget that you need to subscribe to our YouTube and like our Facebook page because there's gonna be more of these videos, but also things that information that you might need for the coming semester in the fall as well. So thank you so much for coming by today and don't forget to take flight.